So game one between the Dallas Stars and Minnesota Wild was a goaltending clinic. Both Ottinger and Gustafson were brilliant. However, Gustafson and the Wild would come out on top for game one. But now heading into game two, coach Dean Evison of the Minnesota Wild would make one of the dumbest decisions of the playoffs so far. He would sit Gustafson and start Marc-Andre Fleury in game two. No matter which way you spin it, I don't get this decision at all from the Minnesota Wild. Gustafson was the main reason they stole a game on the road, stopping 51 to 53 shots, and they decide to take him out and start Flurry. Of course, this went exactly how you would expect, and the Stars blew out the Wild 7-3, with Flurry letting in all seven goals. Now, to be fair, a lot of these goals weren't Flurry's fault. The Wild played sloppy hockey for most of the night with brutal turnovers and weak defensive play in front of their own net, but this was a prime example of overcoaching. The Wild won game one and their best player was in the crease. To take him out and mess with the entire mindset and chemistry of the team is just an extremely poor decision. It gets even worse when you hear the potential reasoning too. Michael Russo, who does a great job at covering the Wild, actually said that part of the decision to start Fleury was because he was one win away for passing Grant Fuhr third all time in NHL playoff wins. This has been the way the Wild have operated all year and of course they wanted to keep him fresh after playing in double overtime which has to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why is rest after game one a priority? It's the playoffs. Rest shouldn't even be a strategy, and the last priority should be achieving a personal record for Marc-Andre Fleury. Especially in the playoffs, you have to focus on the game in front of you and give your team the best chance to win every single night. They did ask Dean Evison about it after the game, and he took the blame off of Fleury, which was rightfully so, but Fleury was also put in a horrible position with this move too. There's a lot of pressure coming in after winning game one and expecting to do the job the same way. Heading into game three, I have to assume the Wild will go back to Gustafson, but they blew a great chance to go up 2-0 in the series heading back home. So do you think this decision will change the rest of the series between the Stars and the Wild? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you want to see more NHL playoff content make sure you hit that subscribe button